Hello, first graders. Today I have a new text to read you for our oral vocabulary uh, cards. And at the end of this video, I would like you to please take the quiz on the meanings or the definitions of these new vocab words for this week. So to start off, I'm going to show you the vocab word and I'm going to read you a short definition. Okay, remember, we're not trying to memorize how to spell these. We want to try to read them. That's not really our goal either. What we really want to be doing is using careful, careful listening um, to understand what the words mean and how we use them in writing uh, and in reading or even just in speaking. So the first word I have for you is the word tranquil. Can you say that word with me? Tranquil. Tranquil means calm and peaceful. So for instance, you might say, um, I spent a tranquil day at home while I relaxed and read in the sun. So something calm and peaceful. The next word I have for you is the word breeze. Will you say that word out loud? Breeze. A breeze is a light, gentle wind. So not super strong, not blowing anything crazy, hard, chaotic, but a nice gentle wind is a breeze. The next word I have for you is forecast. Say that word with me. Forecast. To forecast means to predict in advance. So before we read a book, sometimes I ask you to predict what you think will happen to make a prediction. Forecast can mean to make that prediction before you know what's gonna happen. And usually this is a word that we see um, with someone who's giving a weather forecast. So predicting what the weather is going to be. Maybe you've seen someone on television, on the news, giving the weather forecast. They're predicting what they think the weather is going to be like based on science. All right, two more words. Next word is commotion. Will you say that word, please? Commotion. A commotion means a lot of noisy activity. So lots of noise and lots of action happening, lots of commotion. Okay, so I'm thinking of when we do a go noodle in class where you have to be active and jump around, there's often lots of commotion, noise, and activity in our classroom. And the last word I have for you is the word conditions. Will you say that please? Conditions. Conditions is a word that's referring to how something is or what something is like. So if we're thinking back to weather, you might say there are many possible weather conditions. It could be sunny, that's what the weather could be like. Um, or it could be rainy, that's how the weather could be. Those would be conditions, how something is or what it is like. So those are words I want you to listen for today as we are reading the story. And that story is called Briar Rabbit and the Hurricane. Okay, and if you hear that word come up, I want you to put a hand to your ear, even at home, to show, oh, I heard the word. Okay, so take a look at the front cover. Let's not make that too big. Okay, first of all, what do you think is happening in this picture? What are these animals doing? How do they look? I'm gonna read a story in which the animals in the forest are causing a big commotion ooh, or a lot of noise and activity. All right, so let's get started. This is an African-American tale, Briar Rabbit and the Hurricane. Once all the animals lived together in one community, it was a quiet and tranquil place. When times were good, the animals all had jobs and plenty to eat. But if times were not so good, the animals all had to struggle to live and often went to bed hungry. It was one of those bad times. The fields and trees were empty and there was not enough to eat. All the animals thought about food all day long. All the animals, that is, except 
Briar Bear. The skinnier the animals got, the fatter Briar Bear got. The animals often talked about why Briar Bear was so fat and that they were so skinny. One day, Briar Rabbit said, let's stop talking and do something about it. Briar Rabbit decided to keep an eye on Briar Bear to learn his secret. Hmm, so I don't think we've met Briar Bear yet. Oh, oh, just kidding. I see this little guy in the back, I bet that's him. And then this would be Briar Rabbit. And those words in this story have capital letters in front of, in the B for Briar, and the B for Bear, and the B for Briar, and the R for Rabbit. So that's their full name, Briar Bear and Briar Rabbit. All right, next one. Briar Rabbit found a good hiding place near the bear's home. I'll just watch what old bear does, Rabbit thought. The next morning, Briar Bear was up before the rooster had a chance to crow. He headed into the woods, so Briar Rabbit followed along behind, but not too close. After a bit, Briar Bear went over a hill and Briar Rabbit lost him. Where's that bear off to now? wondered Briar Rabbit. Just then, a breeze blew by and Briar Rabbit smelled something sweet. I'll follow that smell and see where it takes me, he thought. When Briar Rabbit came over the top of the hill, what do you think he saw? Why, he saw Briar Bear sitting in a tree, eating sweet, gooey honey right off a honeycomb. <gasps> Briar Rabbit shouted, Please, Briar Bear, I'm so hungry. Would you share just a little bit of honey with me? But, as you may know, bears have a huge appetite and are not good at sharing food. Briar Bear looked down and frowned at the rabbit. You better get away from here. This is my honey, he growled. Ooh. The next day, Briar Rabbit got the other animals together and told them what he had seen. Why can't he share with all of us? asked Briar Possum. Oh, don't fret, said Briar Rabbit. We're all going to have some of that sweet honey. I have an idea. I believe our weather reporter is forecasting a hurricane, he said with a wink. So Briar Rabbit and the others worked out a plan. At Briar Rabbit's signal, some of the animals would shake the tree and those with wings would flap them in the tall grass. All of this flapping and shaking would cause a great commotion We'll tell old Briar Bear, it's a hurricane, laughed Briar Rabbit. Briar Rabbit ran toward the honey tree where Briar Bear was entering. He gave his signals and the others started shaking and flapping. Hurricanes are coming, hurricanes are coming, Briar Rabbit yelled. The weather reporter is forecasting a hurricane and I have to tie myself to a tree before I blow away. The animals were making such a commotion that Briar Bear quickly scrambled down that tree. He begged Briar Rabbit to help him. Please, Briar Rabbit, tie me to the tree with you, he pleaded. I don't want to blow away. Briar Rabbit said, here, Briar Bear, I'll tie you to the tree first. Then I'll tie myself. He went around and around that tree with the rope, making several knots as he went. Oh, Briar Rabbit, said Briar Bear, be sure to save some rope for yourself. Oh, I will, said Briar Rabbit with a smile. When he was sure that the bear could not move, Briar Rabbit called out to the others, come and take a peek at Briar Bear. Suddenly, the commotion stopped and conditions became calm again. All the animals came and had a good look at the bear. Then they all climbed the tree to eat as much honey as they wanted. They took home a lot of honey for their families too. I wonder if anyone ever came along and untied that old bear. <laughs> all right, thank you for listening to our story today. A reminder that there's that quiz in our assignments below to match up our vocabulary words that we talked about. 
and their definitions. So parents, if you could help us out with uh, reading those out to your kids and letting them make the choices, that would be great. Thank you. Have a great day.